so after giving buccal infiltration then you have to bend the needle which is placed over the loaded RTK in solution this is 27 gauge needle and I'm inserting it in the buccal ligament space you can see little blanching there and always try to inject in multiple locations so I am doing it in the buccal space first and then between the mesial and distal root in the interradicular space some of the solution will come out from the sulcus because there is very little space you can see you can place a finger over the needle so that it will not come out while injecting the solution you can see the blanching there and patient is also feeling some pain while giving intraligament injections extra solution which is gone inside the mouth can be taken in the suction now you can see the blanching there and this intraligamentary injection is 100% effective you can perform a root canal treatment just after this